Hey there guys, Frankomatic here, and let's take a quick look at the abridged version of Russian Attack. Why the abridged version, you might ask? Well, in stage one we ran to the right and stabbed dudes. And in stage two we ran to the right until we eventually found some guys on jetpacks to stab instead of regular dudes. The rest of the game is basically a whole lot more of the same, so I thought I'd just give you the quick look. Stage 3. We saw most of this one. It's run to the right and stab dudes until you get far enough to the right, at which point... Yeah, the boss is dogs. They followed up guys on jetpacks with dogs that make annoying barking noises. They are also basically completely harmless. And there are four sets of these, so it lasts way longer than it really needs to. With the only switch up being, I guess there's five sets, with the only switch up being the very last one in which, ooh, they alternate. Scary. Anyways, now that I've murdered a rusted population of the dog, we, just, we move on to stage four, which has two new features, aside from running the right and stabbing people. Those guys with mortars, and much trickier, paratroopers. Then we jump over to the boss, which is, once again, pathetically easy, although it is very odd in that it is helicopters throwing grenades at you. Much like stage two, there are three of these guys, and this one is entirely a waiting game and that you just need to wait for them to get low enough and then stab the helicopters to death. And I'm dead serious. Stab the helicopters and they explode. I don't know how that works, but, uh, you know, whatever works, I guess. You can even stab them from behind. Stage 5 is actually a little tricky in that there's ladders everywhere in the beginning, which is why I recommend the strategy of jumping across the middle layers, because it's just uh, far less of a pain to deal with that way. The boss of this stage actually is one of the toughest, and you don't want to be doing what I'm doing right here. It's three paratroopers, and if you're on the left side of the screen, there's a high chance you're going to die horribly. So what you want to do is go over here, and then just kind of slowly work your way to the left. Oh, the other difference in this stage is the yellow guys have rifles, so they fire a lot more often. They are still completely worthless once they get to the ground, though. And then we move on to the sixth target, which is the final area. We get a little special notice here of we're almost there, which is true, there's only one level left. It's more of the same, honestly. I recommend the top path until you get to the end of the top path, just because it's a lot easier up here with without the mines that are scattered about. There is one slightly different thing here, though. That's when you get to the end. That would be... Lasers! This is basically the same exact thing that happened in uh, Stage 2 with the guys in the towers. As long as you keep moving forward, you got no problem. And that leads us to the boss of this area, which is, in fact, a nuclear missile. You cannot stab this to death, I was wrong when I said that. You need to wait for a crowd of guys to show up and then stab them all to death. And grab the bazookas that the yellow dudes drop. Which you then use to shoot the missile. You have to hit it 12 times, so that's four full bazooka sets. It's actually fairly easy, as long as you uh, pay attention to the pattern of guys that comes out. Although, as you will notice, I still screw it up here. I guess I didn't stab. But, past that, there's no real challenge here. And with that wave of guys down, this boss is basically done. Now it's just a matter of shooting the rest of these guys and not getting ran into. I don't know why I decided to wait for a motorcycle guys to come. I guess I really just wanted to kill some Russians. And with that, the nuclear missile explodes right in front of us. But luckily for us, nuclear explosions are pretty slow, so you can just, you know, run away on foot. No problem or anything there. We have saved the world. 
Isn't that lovely? And with that, I will leave you guys to the credits. And make a good. Make sure to keep track of uh, Private Goofus and Gallant down there, following the sergeant, as they are mildly entertaining. Twice in the entire set. Also, it's going to stop on a screen that says, Press Start, please. If you do that, you just go back to stage one. So, I will see you guys later.